G'day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You're here with me, Dwayne Bennett. Wayne Bennett's first cousin, can't tell us apart. And uh, welcome back to the series that has taken the world by storm. Well, more like the world by dolphin. Between two sticks. And here with me is another one of the dolphins and forces. All right. The big man himself, Herman Asaya Say, How you going, brother? Good, brother. How are you? I'm really good. I'm very excited to be here with you. <laughs> Between you and me, Herman, I prefer to have the big boys on this show. Uh, I find I have more in common, you know, with the Fords, you know, because we get in there and we do the tough stuff, the rough stuff, we get the stuff done, you know? Yeah, I can yeah. tell. I can tell you used to be a Ford yourself. So. Yes. Look, uh... I won't say I was a Ford. I did do a little bit of uh, bit of work on the wing, but uh, I could have been a Ford. Um, as you can see, I haven't done leg day in about 20 or 30 years. <laughs> but uh, you know you've got skinny legs when you're jealous of ibises. Nah, they don't look skinny to me. From a distance in a pair of shorts, I look like a bar stool. <laughs> it's not very sexy. Now, I've got a few questions here. I've written them all out because I'm professional like that because this is between two sticks. Not the other one. Now, is it true? Well, these are hard-hitting questions, Herman. Are you ready for, for it? Go for it. I like a man who's ready for anything. So now, did you know you're the only Dolphin player whose last name is a palindrome? Palindrome? A palindrome. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think my name's like one of a kind, isn't it? SSM last name. You know what a palindrome is? I have no idea. Well, it's a word that is the same forwards as it is backwards. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I got yeah. it. Don't worry, I didn't know what it was either. I, I only found out last night when I Googled it. <laughs> yeah. I might use that word. Palindrome. Make me sound smart. Palindrome. 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 Like mum? Palindrome, how I spell it. Can you spell it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <Kim. laughs> Sorry, I put you on a spot, eh? Well, now it starts with P. <laughs> right, I So you started the year off with like an injury. You yeah. tore your pecker. Yep. Yep. How the hell did you tear your pecker? I'm um, in the gym, bench press. No. What? Yeah, and it wasn't even going heavy as well. I think it was just one set after my warm up. Just meant to go push up it and just felt it pull. So, and that was two days out before the game. What? Yeah, I know. So pretty gutted there. You don't know why. All right, well, you tore your pecker, bench pressing. Bench pressing, yeah. It's pretty common. Wow. Yeah. Common. That's weird. Mm. It's usually I do it if I'm sort of doing something down <laughs> in this area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was thinking pecker, this sounds like, you know. Oh, you mean peck. <laughs> it was your peck. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> But anyway, I'm well, glad. Can, um, and not the other one. Can you even tear your pecker? Well, I've heard of people doing it. Do you still have to do a nudie run if you don't score a try by the end of this year? I believe so. Yeah, I think that's a that's a long tradition. Yeah, that's been in the. So no tries. No tries. Nudie. You've got to do a nudie run. Yep. So yeah. that's why I'll be happy with one. Just one. Just one. Mate, what if the nudie run's got to be in, like, the cauldron or something? In front of 50,000? Oh, can't argue. Yeah, it's just it's tradition, so it. you just got to do it. I've done plenty, don't worry. Mm. Like, without being forced. Yeah. You've had more clubs than Tiger Woods. Mm. So why do you love it so much up here at Redcliffe? Um, just because Brisbane's like my second home. Uh, I was born and raised in New Zealand. Uh, I then moved to Brisbane yep. uh, when I was 16. So I consider this place home and, um, just being back with Wayne and a few familiar faces in the, in the team. So yeah. back with Wayne, back with your cousin, back with me, Gus. Yep. And, uh, and why is the Dolphins the best club you've played for? Um, uh, I don't know, I think it's just a lot of history and the camaraderie in the team and the staff and 
just how well we're going this year after you know a lot of outside noise and then and you got the greatest coach of all time wish i had some tissues <laughs> that was nice that was nice and you've been coached by wayne before mm. has he uh has he mellowed out a little bit since the uh, Broncos, or has he got more intense as he gets older? Uh, I don't think he's changed. And all the same, yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't think he looks like he's aged. It's like, no, he hasn't aged, no, has he? I swear he looks younger. I reckon he was born 60 years old. Yeah, you know that movie Benjamin Button? Yeah. I think he's got that. When you score your first try this season, maybe you could do like Cristiano Ronaldo's... How does that go again? I think it's like, Sue! 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 Yeah, yeah, that's it. Sue! I'll show you. Yep. It's over the horn. Boom. Sue! Like Sue. That. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Does he do that as well, Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, well, we're going to add the fins oh, yeah, up. Fins up. We'll add the fins Sue. up. Sue. Got it. Right. Sue. Thanks for spending time with us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. On this here show, Between Two Sticks. Thanks for having me. I'm a massive fan of yours. That's it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on this here series and show, Between Two Sticks. Me and Herman. Soon. Two Sticks.